All right, good morning traders. Today is July 31st, 2023. My name is John Kerrigan. I moderate the BYOB Trading Room. Just want to let everyone know markets are in very bullish condition right now. And if we look at the SPY on the daily, you can see we're in a daily uptrend. We're in a 15 minute uptrend. We're in an uptrend on all time frames on the SPY. SPY is looking bullish this morning and in early morning. Actually, looking bullish yesterday. And uh, we sold off on Thursday. <clears throat> Friday, we recovered well over 51% uh, of it. And we closed uh, above the midpoint of Thursday's. Big red candle there from the Bank of Japan. We had a slight sell-off going on. So he, here we are this morning, uh, kind of uh, just gapping up a little bit and trading in the bullish direction at this time. QQQ, uh, still bullish, daily time frame. Uh, recovering almost a hundred over a hundred percent almost a hundred percent of Thursday sell-off candle so QQQ still looking bullish at this time nice green trend indicator bullish on all time frames so we got the Nasdaq and the spy are uh, bullish this morning let's go back to the spy let's look at where my pivot is my pivot for this morning it's going to be 456.20 above that. I'm going to be a bull. Below that, I'm going to be a bear. Now let's take a look at the Russell 2000. Okay, here we are with the Russell 2000. We had Thursday sell-off. Friday's uh, almost, almost recovery. You can see we're well up past the midpoint. And we're not quite gapping up in the morning for the IWM, but everything is looking good for IWM. Bullish on all time frames, IWM. Uptrends on all time frames, IWM. Now let's look at the diamonds. Diamonds, here's Thursday sell off. Here's a doji candle. And if we look at the diamonds, we'll put the quad line, sneak the quad lines in there. And you can see we closed up over the midpoint on Friday for the diamonds. And we're gapping up just a little bit here. So again, diamonds, bullish, uptrends on all time frames. Everything is still looking good for the diamonds. Now here's the most important one, EFNGU. <clears throat> here's Thursday sell-off. Friday's recovery, we were traced over 100% of Thursday's sell-off. So still looking bullish, and we're gapping up in the morning. So FNGU, bullish on all time frames at this time. Now let's go take a look at our T2122. T2122, 15-minute chart. We have a downtrend working into our T2122. Uh, we are breaking out bullish uh, this morning in most all, all the indices and the FNGU. I would expect this downtrend to be broken sometime today. Uh, buy zone, everything is in the buy zone. We closed off in the buy zone on Friday. Uh, you can see here's Friday, we dipped into the buy zone, uh, into the chop zone. We opened up in the chop zone, made ourselves uh, a way back into the buy zone, and we've fallen out. Still got this lower high to contend with. Need to get up over this low, lower high, the, this lower high so that we can break through this downtrend in the T2122. Now, T2123, <clears throat> uh, still bullish on the 15-minute chart. Price kind of hanging out here really close, not a whole lot of space. Here we had space. Uh, that space is no longer with us. Uh, 
on fr on Friday, but then again, we did have quite a big sell-off on Thursday. So we're still bullish on T21.23. T21.23, three-bar chart, still showing some space between the trend decayer and the price action. So everything is still looking good on T21.23. Now let's take a look at some of the economic data. You can see this is our week in economic data. Monday, not much going on. Chicago PMI at 9.45. Then we got a PMI manufacturing index tomorrow morning, 9.45. An ISM manufacturing index at 10. And really just a light week. Not much really happening here for uh, economic data being released this week. So could have a nice continuation into our bullish rally. So far, no reason to really uh, stop the rally here on the economic data side of things. Now let's go look at the dollar. Dollar continues to gain strength. This was our beat down sell off right there. That was great. And we're continuing to rise. So you can see we're getting candles. Each one kind of having higher, higher low closes. So we're getting these higher low closes in the dollar. As this creeps up, this is not going to be good. It might bite us in the end. So uh, you can see we're well past the minor resistance here and we had some here and we continue to creep up here in this in this dollar strength that could come back and bite us later so we'll see right now we're still looking bullish i'm going to remain bullish as long as we're underneath 103.50 we start breaking through that and uh, I, I, could, I think I, my sentiment might change from there. So right now, still bullish, but the dollar is gaining strength here. All right, let's look at earnings calendar. For today, Monday the 31st, uh, we got ANET, RSG, Republic Services, ON Semiconductor. It's going to report this morning. And the rest of these big ones, Diamondback Energy, uh, they're all going to report this evening after, after the close. So, pretty light day today. Going to watch ON Semiconductor. That should be interesting. Might want to keep an eye on that one. And for tomorrow. <coughs> all right, we got Merck, Pfizer, AMD. Caterpillar, BP Oil, Starbucks, Mitsubishi, Uber, Veritex, and Altria, and Eaton. Eaton makes, uh, I think, electrical uh, electrical boxes. So uh, in the mornings, it's going to be interesting because we have two big drug makers. You got AMD, one of the biggest uh, mic. Uh, Semiconductor uh, stocks right there. That's one of the biggest, not the biggest, but one of them. It's going to report in the evening. Caterpillars, that's inside the Dow, so that should move that if they, they report well. So Tuesday earnings start kicking off again. Wednesday. Wednesday, we get Qualcomm, Shopify, another big day. PayPal. Um, let's see what else we got. Humana, Occidental Petroleum, Emerson Electric. So things are starting to pick up after uh, after today. Tomorrow should be a pretty pretty good day. So if you got any of these going into the morning, you might want to hedge your volatility. And that's about it. Max Payne for this week. Let's take a peek at that. See if they got it yet. Okay, the end of the week is probably going to be the 4th. Come down here and look at the 4th at this time. It looks like 2 to 1 put to call ratio right there. And max pain for this week is 451. 
So we'll see how that works out for the Bears. And that's it for this morning right now. Uh, I do have some bullish stocks right here. I like Adobe, Wayfair, Unity, U, PLTR, Rivian, RV, RIVN, Marathon Digital Holdings, M-A-R-A, Fiber, which I think is, let me back this up. Frontier Communications, Roku, uh, Carnival Cruise Lines, SMCI, looking good this morning. Nice nice ending uh, for the week, last week right there. Nice big tail candle. Upstart looks great. Nice recovery there on Upstart. CVNA is kind of struggling here but still doing well and that's it all right so i'll see everybody in about 45 minutes